Um, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Luke Perkins. Um, I'm a Nixt advocate, DevRel uh, kind of person, and I work at a little company called Determinant Systems. You may have seen some of us give talks um, uh, elsewhere at the conf. Um, so home environments or workstations, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's, it's really hard to overstate how vital these are. They're, um, I think of them as basically the staging ground for your entire career uh, in the industry. They, they follow you across, uh, across jobs and programming languages and stacks. And because of that, I think that they're worth really major investments of time and cognitive energy. So let me tell you my story. Um, I'm a Mac OS person about 95% of the time. Uh, my home end uh, started the way it does for most Mac OS people. So I used, I used Homebrew to install things, and I kept uh, a dot .files repo for Vim and Tmux and, and all of that good stuff. So this approach was, of course, totally ad hoc and totally procedural, uh, which is you know, boo, hiss. Um, Setting up a new machine meant spending a couple days messing around and, and trying to remember stuff that, that's missing in my environment. Uh, some kludgy bash scripts, like, like that kind of thing. Uh, let's scroll down. That's actually a little too big, sorry. Ah, there we go. Um, and then I discovered Nix um, a couple years ago, and that in turn led me to discover Home Manager, which unlocked a whole new world of declarative possibilities for me. Um, I threw away Homebrew and my dot .files repo and started doing everything in Nix. So Vim, Tmux, VS Code, Shells, uh, basically everything lives in one repo. Um, I actually wrote about this on my, my personal blog a couple years ago. Um, and now, as you'll see in a second, I've gone beyond even this with a project called GNOME, which I'll talk about uh, in a second. So as I've used Nix and Home Manager over time, I've adopted a principle that I really like, uh, where I divide my home environment into two distinct domains. So first, there's the global domain, um, and this is where I install uh, and configure truly global stuff, like, like editors, git, jq, curl, wget, and all of that, and all that stuff. Um, I use Home Manager for this, of course, and it just never, ever, ever fails me. Um, but there's another domain um, that Nix is also great for, and that's project-specific environments, as we know, with dev shells. So as a DevRel person, I'm constantly playing around with pet projects and frameworks and languages. And in these kinds of settings, it's really vital to, to pin your compilers and runtimes to specific versions, and also to provide whatever kinds of checkers, formatters, linders, and other glue tools that the project needs. Uh, and I use a fairly new feature for this called Flake Templates. Now, this way of thinking um, has resulted in a project I call Gnome, or which is my Nick's home. Uh, it's also city, a city in Alaska where I am from. Um, and GNOME is really just a Nix flake that exports, that exports absolutely everything I need for, for my home environment. So whenever I, I'm on a new, uh, a new machine, I can just, I can terraform that machine with just a few commands. So I install Nix, I build the home manager package, I run the activation script, wait a few minutes, and I have my super duper finicky home environment ready to go. So editors, tiling managers, shells, and everything. So Home Manager uh, handles all my global stuff, but what about specific projects? Well, for that, GNOME provides a little script called Proj, uh, which, which initializes my standard Flake template, uh, which itself uses a GNOME exported library for building shell environments. So I had this make env function um, that enables me to string together some, some custom tool chains that I put together. Uh, if I need some random packages, um, that, that aren't inside of a tool chain, I can add them to, to extras, which is just kind of like, like gnome.packages is just like a re-exported Nix packages with some overlays. And then I have a standard shell hook for any kind of in, uh, initialization logic I need. So this works great as a, kind of, um, as a kind of quick and dirty approach. I run proj, I delete any tool chains I don't need, I make some adjustments, and I'm off to the races. But if I need to get more granular, I use a script called dvt, uh, which initializes a specific Flake template. So I've created over 20 of them uh, for a bunch of different languages and tools in a project called Dev Templates that I encourage you to check out. Um, and this has cut the time I need to have a pure Nix dev environment tailored to a very specific project down to just a few seconds. Okay, takeaways, almost done. So first, um, this global versus project specific distinction has enabled me to separate concerns in my home environment in a way that suits my needs uh, extremely well. And of course, Nix handles both of these uh, handles both of these domains with style and grace. Second, GNOME is not a blueprint per se. Um, I'll never finish it, and it's full of like idiosyncratic stuff. 
that's of no use to anyone but me, and that's okay. But home environments are extremely important. So, um, so I, I urge you all to maintain a project like this. Uh, Noam has saved me mountains of time and trouble, uh, and Nick's, you know, right now, today, um, provides all the primitives you need to create your own long-lived Nick's home. Thank you.